Good night, boys. I always say good morning. Uh, if you haven't entered for your chance to win the Civic, link is in the description. And my Honda Boy game's about to hit another level. So, um, we've got this loaner Audi. It's a long story that I'm not going to tell you about. And while we have a loaner, we like to take road trips. Put miles on someone else's shit, you know? Well, we actually already had to do this. So, got the trailer set up. I'm selling... I'm selling... I'm sending Jack and the filmer to Chicago to a shop called STR Garage. I'll put their Instagram right here, or the filmer will, to pick up a car to add to my Honda Boy collection that I have huge plans for. If you're a patron, you know about it. If you're not a patron, you should join the Patreon because you will know about all the stuff before it happens. I don't usually push the Patreon. We like the crew that's in there, but we're going to bring back podcasts and we tell secrets. Secrets make friends. You know, I change that saying up. So, we're sending them tonight because I have to do some other stuff, but they're picking me up a car and they're burning right back. So in this video, you're going to see the shop STR Garage. You're going to see what car they're picking up. And then you're going to see me see it for the first time, drive it down the road and uh, get my initial reaction. Honda Boy game, strong. If you haven't ever your chance to win the Civic, links in the description. Tell me if you take them. So as you just saw, the new car was picked up from Chicago at SDR Garage. We'll put the Instagram right here. They hooked us up with a car we already kind of have, but kind of don't. <clears throat> what this is, is a 1996 Integra Type R, uh, JDM Integra Type R. So what we have is a USTM one. There are slight differences. This one is in championship white. There's their sticker, just like the EK9, and it's pretty sick. I had the option of this or uh, another one with in a little worse condition, and I had to go with the I had to go with the nicer one. I had to do it. I didn't want to because I could have saved a bunch of money, but I had to go with the nicer one. So let me unload this thing, and I want to drive it. Everyone says that the JDM ITR is the jam between all of them. EK9, USDM Type R, uh, and JDM Type R. This one's the fastest, this one's the best. I believe the 98 is actually the best. The only difference between this one, the one we have, and a 98 is a 98 spec JDM ITR has the intake cam from the B16B. It's the only difference. If you put the B16B, uh, B16B intake cam into the 90s, I'm choking. 96 JDM ITR. There's a lot of ITRs and B series and things going on. Uh, if you do that, you'll have the quickest, the quickest one, supposedly. 
So let's unload it and see what it looks like and take it for a rip. It's unloaded and uh, it's looking pretty good. This, car's, this car doesn't have low mileage or anything. It just, uh, I didn't know what to expect. It looks pretty good. We've got some obvious wear on the seat. That one is a little bit better. Interior is actually really clean. Got some pedal covers. Let's see what kind. I can't read it. Only has two of them, obviously. Rear seats look good. Let's look under the hood. Oh yeah. This thing's pretty clean. Take it all in, boys. So, got some obvious rock chips. Um, wheels have been powder coated. They're not the, the, I don't know if those come champ white from the factory or they just come white white. They don't match when they may refinish, so that's normal. I'm gonna let it warm up. I'm gonna park the trailer. I'm gonna put a plate on it. We'll take it down the road and see if they're all they're cracked up to be. All right, first drive, I hear a little vibrating from the exhaust. I'll tell you, the first thing I could already tell, I like the steering wheel more than the EK9. It just seems, what the hell? Couldn't find third. Seems small, I don't know, it just seems like a nicer steering wheel. I don't know what wheel I'm gonna put in the EK9, but, uh, I was like, I mean, it feels very similar to the ITR that I currently have, which I guess I should expect. Should have brought a GoPro. It's fucking winter here officially, boys. So I'm getting no reading on the temperature gauge, and this has been idling for 20 minutes. Maybe we have a temperature gauge issue. Uh, it's definitely warm at this point, but I'll cruise it around if it doesn't move after five minutes I'll know the gauge is bad. I'll be able to shred on it this Temperature gauge is officially no good Hasn't moved. I'll uh, I'll head up STR garage and see if he knew I'm, I'm sure he just didn't say anything or forgot or whatever not a big deal because I know the car is warm uh, But one thing one other thing I know I got on it this thing would destroy the EK9. Anyone that thinks EK9 is faster? You're dead wrong. Like, this thing would destroy the EK9. I can't even believe it. This car actually feels fast. Uh, the EK9 is pretty slow. The, even the EG is like you're 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 wanting a little more. I don't know what to do about that, unfortunately, because I would have to do a whole bunch of work. The EG is fun, but it doesn't have that pull. This thing has the torque you're looking for from a Honda. Now, I would say the EK9 needs this engine. That's what I, I could safely say. That's what's missing. If the EK9 had this engine it would probably be as fast or faster than this. Um, I wanna say that that 2000 EK9 is a little heavier than this, I don't know. Somebody put it in the comments right now if you're a Honda boy and you know, they're very close regardless, but this being the 1.8, that being the 1.6, uh, it is cool to rev to nine, but not when you're making 120 horsepower. Even the EG will walk the EK uh, in a straight line. So the EG is, just a hair faster than the EK. This thing though, this thing's fun. This is what all the Honda boys are talking about, I think. I'm gonna cruise this a little bit more and then we'll get in the shop and uh, we'll look at it under some light, not in the sun. Would you look at that? So, I just got some official numbers and I had to run to my camera, get the thing inside, tell you what they are. And I'm pretty surprised. 96 ITR, 2,325 pounds. Civic Type R, 2315 to 2359. I would guess this one is the 2359. Reason being, it's an RX, so it's like 
the luxury model, the highest model. It has uh, power windows, power door locks, uh, ABS, has all, all the things. So I'm just thinking, that's me 2359. So technically that car is heavier than that car by, what's that, fucking 34 pounds? Now this one is the pig. I don't know why, uh, but the US model, probably due to crash testing and stuff like that, weighs 26 and change. I forget the exact, 26, uh, I think it was at exactly 300 pounds more than this. So 26, 25, and that's absurd. That car felt torquey and quick. That car felt not torquey and pretty slow, but rev happy. This car feels super rev happy and torquey. So this engine out of the three is clearly the best one. Now I couldn't imagine if they say this one engine is better with that intake cam, what that would feel like because it feels pretty good now. Um, I'm gonna look into what mods and things need to be done to this engine to wake it up. Oh, one other big difference. This engine's 11 to one compression. That's 10.6 to one. I don't know what that is. I think that's probably 11 to one too, but um, the red line on this is 8,400. That's 9,000. Uh, so there's clearly like some rev happiness in the one six versus the one eight, but I'll take that torque over 600 RPMs any day of the week. I, I wish I could let you guys feel that somehow. It is not small. It's not like, oh yeah, it's a little better. It's only 0.2 liters. Like it's night and day. It's what that car is lacking. Um, if you aren't in the right gear in that car on corner exit, and when I say the right gear, I mean like pretty much all the corners at Allen's, all the corners at Lime Rock. You, I mean, you don't even hit third anywhere on Lime Rock in the EK9. And on Allen's, every corner exit, I'd have to downshift in a second, pretty much. The big, the big bank corner, the next corner, and then the last corner before the straightaway, the rest I can stay in third. Um, EK9 needs a 1.8. Let's talk about what we're gonna do, what my plans are. And I want you guys to put in the comments what you think I should do. Um, I have a plan for the Phoenix Yellow. Is it Phoenix Yellow? Phoenix Yellow ITR. Um, and I'm not going to talk about that. But we need to figure out what we're going to do with the two JDM models. God, this looks sick. All right, boys. Figured I'd take the ITR out for a little rip. Try the angles. See how the new GoPro is. Sorry about this A-pillar here. But if I move the GoPro any further over, it'd be in my face. Oh yeah. She spins the tires way better than the K9. That was my attempt at a launch. This thing is just I don't know. Spin city. Officially hella fall here. Decided to take this thing down a bumpy ass road. See how the GoPro looks. See how that angle is. Let me know what you think in the comments. I wanted to drive this thing because I wanted to feel it. So I think I said earlier the, uh, the temp gauge officially does not work. Hope hopefully if it overheats, it kind of works. What is this? Never been on this road. Let's do a uh, a pull. You ready? Something's up with this car. Very hard to shift at high RPMs. I'm hoping it's like a clutch issue or uh, a hydraulic issue and not something more serious because oh shit
car is way more fun to drive than the EK9. Way faster. Way, way faster. Now I'm actually getting to experience the truth. Way faster. This thing is so fun. My number one goal with the EK9 is retaining value um, while also making it fun as hell to drive. My goal for this is kind of not giving a fuck about the value because this isn't like a pristine condition ITR. So no shortage of 96 ITRs. Um, so I think if any car is going to get swapped, it would be this one. These roads are sick. A hell of a jump right here. I don't even know if the camera can see because the glare. Jump. Anyway. I'm gonna end the video there. The end of it was filmed on a GoPro Hero 10 with Media Mod. Let me know what you guys think of the ITR, what I should do, and we'll see you uh, next time. Bye.